the evolution of the soul can also be seen as a platform game. A platform game has some properties. It has levels. The levels are hard at first, but easier later. Humanity as a whole is evolving, and also you. What was perfectly normal several centuries ago, or even decades, is totally, not done, now, also you. You are not the same person now, as you were before. The lower levels are all about survival, your ego plays an important part in this. The higher levels are more about self-realization. Weirdly enough, here your ego becomes obsolete. You get at higher levels by making sure your emotions are positive. You can do that by detaching them from your circumstances. It is a big accomplishment if you can do that. Step 1 is observing your thoughts and emotions. Observe yourself. When your emotions are positive, your soul gets a higher vibration. Somehow then you get more overview. In spiritual circles a higher overview is called, a higher state of consciousness. How the link between higher vibration and higher state of consciousness works is not yet known to me. The laws of physics in the universe are often also applicable to the spiritual laws. It makes me think of the working of a hot air balloon. More overview means that life gets easier, you will be less afraid, and with a diminished ego you feel less threatened, less attacked. A good platform game has built-in puzzles. For instance, how do you get from here to there without dying? Sometimes you have to figure out the timing of jumping to avoid obstacles. Sometimes the same problem emerges over and over again. Until the lesson of life is learned. Then the problem does not appear in your experience again, or maybe once more as a some kind of test. So difficulties are thrown on your path, so that you can learn from them. In spiritual circles this is often referred to as contrast. Why are difficulties referred to as contrast? Imagine you are a white entity in a white room. And you want to explore what black is. You have no choice but to leave the safe white room to explore the very opposite. The difference between black and white is called contrast. Difficulties in life are also known as catalyst. As a chemical process goes faster due to a catalyst, your growth, your evolution, goes also faster due to a catalyst. A catalyst can be challenging circumstances or problems, or a downright disaster. But look at it as this way, you can spend millions of years on a cloud in heaven, but then you learn nothing. A hundred years on earth, however, makes your evolution go really fast, you really get to know yourself very well. You can look at reaching a higher state of consciousness as earning points. The points you can use for purchasing items or traits, which make the game easier. In the game of life you earn points when you respond on situations, from love or compassion. Or in other words, if you respond from your soul. However you don't get points if you react out of fear or hate, or if you react from your ego. When you have enough points, you can move to the next level. Oh I still have 5 lives. Now I have a good chance reaching the next level. That is a nice feeling to have. The following viewpoint is very controversial, if you do not believe in reincarnation, see it as a thought experiment, a theory which does not have to be true per se. But as I see it, in life it is not expected to run all levels at once. As I see it you do not get only one shot at this game, with the chance to mess things up forever. You live many lives. So you don't have to stress out, if this life does not seem to meet your high expectations. And you will see, that as soon that you relax, things seem to be more sunnier than you thought. In physics a test is never truly failed. So in life, you learn more from failure than from things that go as you wish. Each life can also have a different theme. Like some lives, you research how it is to be poor, and in other lives, you research how it is to be rich and famous. 
You can be the aggressor, and the next life you can be the victim. In one life you totally keep all the rules and not so strict in the next. In spiritual circles that is referred to as karma. There is one handicap however, you forget your previous lives and what the theme of this life is. In spiritual circles this is referred to as the veil of forgetting. This veil is annoying, but, on the other hand, the game would not be the same if you already know what you are supposed to be doing from day one. Really old computer games, did not have them yet. Save points. When you died doing a hard jump or puzzle, you had to start all over again. This was very discouraging and people stopped playing that game. The save point was invented. You did not have to start all over again, but start from that point onward, on respawn. On your adventures you encounter people who are just starting with the game, and people who are operating on the higher levels. In my opinion they did not get there in one lifetime. This is in spiritual circles referred to as old souls, referred to people who obviously don't do things for the first time. The realization that you can encounter people who just started, gives you the freedom that you don't have to judge people you meet. No more than you judge students who are in a lower grade than you. The end boss. What could that be? And do we have to fight? Fighting is not a good solution right? True, fighting is not a solution to tackle problems. The end boss, as you can guess, is not an outside enemy. It is found within ourselves. It is, Tata, our ego. At the beginning of this stage of evolution, our ego was important to emphasize our self-awareness. Our ego helped us to determine our place on the social ladder. A higher place on the ladder, provided us with security of survival. You can look upon the ego as programming, programming designed to keep your body alive. As long as we do not see the unity yet, as long as we do not have all awareness, we need our ego. But as soon as we do see beyond the illusion of separateness our ego becomes obsolete. In spiritual circles this is called, transcendence, or awakening. This journey of transcendence starts with taking a step back and observe your thoughts and emotions. Thus raising your consciousness. Seeing things from a higher point of view. This gives you a question, does it help you, seeing things from a higher point of view? And if so, do you want to take this to a next level? To awaken from the game? You can enjoy the benefits of an easier life with less stress and fear, and keep it that way. You have reached a safe point here. Or you can go on working on yourself until you see the unity, the all awareness. Meditation helps with that process. And lets you see behind the curtains of this illusion. Awakening is a realization at a point in time, but it is also a long process to let your ego go. This universe is built on free will. If you work on your own evolution, slow or fast, stay on this level of awareness or to run for the end boss at this time, is totally up to you. There is much love for you either way. In all the corners of the world are ascended masters who can help us. It depends on where you live and what your cultural or religious background is, which teachings work for you the best. A contemporary western teacher is Eckhart Tolle. You don't have to know much about spirituality or religion to follow his reasonings. The man we know as Jesus can be a big example, if you study what he says and does, you might discover that he had no ego at all. He showed us unconditional love and hinted on that we can become like him, in a far future. Archangel Michael is often depicted slaying a serpent. At the lower levels you see the serpent as an evil entity, existing outside of us. At the higher levels you discover that the serpent is a symbol of our own ego. In this video, tools are given so that your life can be a bit sunnier. This can also be a start for you to seek further. The choice is totally yours. Realize this, you are already free, you only need to see it. You don't have to do. If you look at the evolution of the soul, this piece, growing from self-awareness to all-awareness, is only a small piece of a way bigger story. 
the universe is a big place, I wish you all the best and, enjoy the game.